harsh, you guys. I can't believe none of us stood a chance. We got annihilated. I went in thinking it couldn't be all that bad, but what the heck was that about? I'm more bothered that our target seemed to know us. Are you serious, Blonde? We're famous. Everyone knows us. It could have been Game Industry's most elusive bum, for all we know. Very powerful bum. I feel as though I've seen that particular mech design before. You too? I feel the same way. It looked like an abandoned design from early last station days. Rather, it took inspiration from one of our early designs. Where did it come from? Hmm, I see. Supposing it also adopted scrapped plans from early lean box, that would explain its strength. I don't care about lean box, but it took one of my nation's designs. I've got to burn it to ash. We are in agreement then, Noir. I cannot allow such a thing to run rampant. We must find a countermeasure before the monsters gain further momentum. If our attacks don't work, though, what countermeasure can we use? Should we try ambushing it? I don't think that will work. I'd never do something so cowardly. If we can hurt it, we can kill it. We'll attack it head on! There's no telling how long such an approach would take. Although the idea of fighting all day is alluring. Is it? For you two, maybe. I'd rather wrap it up in time for snacks and naps. No any super ultra special moves? My best attack didn't do anything. What? When'd you use that? Sorry to interrupt. But, um, if nobody's moves worked, I have a suggestion. How about we come up with a brand new special attack? One that the CPUs invent, which leads to the destruction of Game Industries' latest threat. That's an award-winning article right there. It feels like something out of a kid's manga. A special move that can save Game Industry sounds great. It may sound great, but how will we come up with such a thing? It may prove to take quite some time. A move stronger than anything else we've used up till now. A way to draw all our powers out. The combined powers of Louis, Planetoon, Last Station, and Leanbox. For something like that, we'll need everyone's help. Can we do it? Yeah, probably. You betcha. I can hear the cheering of Game Industries people begging for me to be their awesome savior again. We may be able to pull it off. Leanbox's power is the mightiest in game industry, as we all know. Why do you sound so incredulous, Blonde? Don't you trust your people? Man, I feel so bad for them. What? I offered an idea because you dumb skanks couldn't think of any. I'll show you why Louise number one. That's the Blonde everyone likes to see. that we don't get any lines in this scene? Probably. They're talking about a bunch of hard stuff to understand, so I don't care. Our big sisters will know what to do. Yeah, you're right. We'll do whatever we can then. Miss Neckgear, what are you doing? Experimenting. I want to see how to best apply the cool design and power of our enemy into my own robots. N no. That refined frame, smooth movement, the armor's resilience. And silent motion. It was a true work of art. Oh no. Oh, really? I thought it was scary. What about you, Ram? I wasn't scared, but it looked like a toy I saw before or something. Blah! I just can't remember. I think I remember that toy too. But I can't remember either. Maybe we both dreamed it? A dream! I was just thinking that. Maybe we gotta go take a nap dream about it again enough fooling around our sisters look like they found a solution we are going to put our heads together and come up with a special move using all our nation's powers a move like that would be great to help me grow stronger use the power of each nation oh maybe planet two can finally turn into a big robot goodness so cool calm down nepke It would be cool, though. I guess that sounds neat. But there's no way that's possible. Yet. Nothing's impossible, Uni. 
the four lands, game industry will link together in robotic glory! And then we'll unleash our super special robotic attack! The mighty game industry rocket fist of goodness! Whoa! Maybe the last station part of the robot has turrets everywhere! This is sounding pretty great! Okay, it's settled then! We'll make the super duper ultra final move! The game industry cannon! Rom, this is the coolest thing ever! Let's hurry up and make up a sweet move with Blonde, too! Uh, I'm so excited! Yeah, uh, great to see everyone so excited. But I did tell you that this isn't actually possible, right? Still worth a try. I won't let it bother me now. Let's do our best to think of a real move. One that's even better. You can now challenge the five trials of Valtinus, Valtinus path. Powerful enemies await, so please make sure you're well prepared. What just happened? Yeah. A new quest. All right, City Watch it is. Let's you go in the game it. news first. Obviously, we got those two because they got destroyed in the last <laughs> bit, so we'll do them first. Slump finished my now highlighter loading. story, have I? Yeah. Hey everyone, it's time for Dengekiko News, where I talk about the latest and greatest headlines. In the news today, Newsflash, Neptune's birthday suit. I think it's safe to assume she threw her clothes off on a whim because it was hot or something. Does, does sound like Nep. Anyway, some unwarranted comments have been circulating about these girls, such as, so hot, eternal lover, Nepgear is so gonna be my waifu. I'm nude too, and many others. These aren't just comments though. These are our fans' fetish delusions, and that last one was so gross. Ahem. <clears throat> Pardon me. This proves that something must be done to alleviate our fans' overwhelming desires. Why? Thus, Torn Duds has been sent over. We hope it will be enough to placate you. At least we'll all be more comfy if it's hot outside. But don't let us catch cold. Stick around for the next exciting installment of Dengekiko News. This is Dengekiko signing off. Now loading. Now loading. Yep. Right, City Watch again. Yes. Game news. <laughs> Nip gear. Now loading. Hey everyone, it's time for Dengekiko News, where I talk about the latest and greatest headlines. In the news today, Newsflash, Nepgear's birthday suit. There's no way Nepgear would get caught doing anything like this. Is this that tricky Nepagia again? Possibly. I mean, maybe. Or it could be actually a trick from Neptune if we've seen the anime, so... Anyway, some unwarranted comments have been circulating about these girls. Such as, so hot, eternal lover, Nepgear is so gonna be my waifu, I'm nude too, and many others. These aren't just comments though, these are our fans' fetish delusions, and that last one was so gross! Ahem. <clears throat> Pardon me, this proves that something must be done to alleviate our fans' overwhelming desires! Thus, Torn Duds has been sent over. We hope it will be enough to placate you. At least we can rest assured that Nepgear wasn't being impersonated by that Nepagia girl again. Or ne Nepgear. Ne or, yeah, you know the one. Stick around for the next exciting installment of Dengekiko News. This is Dengekiko signing off. Now loading. Done. Yes. Right, that should be it in terms of game news. Right, Planetune. Now loading. Spinny, spinny, round and round. What are you doing? Staring at that there toothy whale thing, Neptunior? Oh, hi, Neptune. This is called the gear, and it has our dreams infused in it. Uh, then it would be made of candy. Regardless, I'll humor you. What are you gonna use it for? I wanted it to be a secret, but I'm trying to see how I could make you as popular as I think you should be. If I infuse this magical gear with your popularity, meaning your shares and power as a CPU, I hope to make the popularity boom, breaking the barriers of gender, race, and negating our world's pesky gravity. That way, everything will be sucked into the black hole of cuteness that you are, uniting all of game industry. Nep's face has gone very odd. It would instantly resolve any and all quests, 
and even keep that mean next-gen mech off our cases. Ultimately, you and I would have our accomplishments published, and we'd become super popular forever and ever! Uh-huh. You sure said a lot of stuff that some would consider insane, but hooray! I'm so happy and stuff, sis. Net. Run. But seriously, that sounds like a sociopathic villain's plan. The article would be about how you ended the world. You'll see, Neptune. They'll all see. My device isn't ready yet, but we'll make game industry a better place. They'll all see. Y yeah. Don't do anything too crazy, Dr. Gear. I mean, my popularity is so off the charts, it circled the entire world. Oh, in that case, I need to power up the gear to allow for a longer line so your popularity doesn't lap itself. Excellent. I'm going to step out and praise the sun in order to supercharge the gear with vitamin D. All right, bit of Dark Souls there, but OK. OK, you do that, kiddo. I'm getting bad vibes from this whole situation, so I'm going to go buy snacks. Yeah. Now loading. I can't ignore yes. New quest has been added. City Watch, last station. Now loading. An incident. Perfect. This is my chance to show what I'm capable of. Maybe, but it's not very good of you to seem so happy about the suffering of our people. I was thinking just that. Uni, listen. Don't overdo it. What? Do you doubt me or something? I thought you were pleased with how far I've come. Or are you trying to cap my level before I get stronger than you? Whoa. Give me a break. I said what I meant. Game industry is in a dangerous state, so who knows what could happen? You worry about me too much. I'll show you that it's unwarranted by taking care of this problem myself. That's not a way to do things. And if you're going to worry, then you should worry about yourself. I'm not your baggage, Noir. That girl has some imagination. I was just telling her what I honestly think. Yeah, Uni's got a, a bit weird loading. there. Is something that's probably her new personality she's trying to develop because of her talk with Dengekiko. Now loading. Blonde's not here today either. Is she working? I have even more books I want her to read to me. What a dummy! Working so much! She keeps leaving us because of all the stuff happening in game industry. Ram, I have an idea. Why don't we help Blonde with her work in secret? How do we do that? If she's just stamping papers with her big mushroom stamp, then we can do that for her. Good thinking, Romster. We totally can do that. But if she's going out, I don't know if that's what she's doing. Then maybe it's about next-gen mech or the world in general? She said stuff about quests before. Hmm. Hey, Rom, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh-huh. Outside is dangerous, so we should stay inside and play games. Wrong! Let's go out, find Blonde, and help her! I bet she'd be so happy, she'd even smile! Oh, oops. I forgot about her. Now loading! Now loading! Yep! Alright, next city watch, lean box! Now loading. I have been waiting for you two. While I understand you are busy, please relax and enjoy your stay. We would never turn down an offer to visit with you, Vert. Were you planning a live stream of your online gaming session today? Or did you want to share some advanced gaming strategies? Inquiring minds would love to know. Gaming does sound quite pleasant, but for now, I have a more serious question to pose to you both. If I may be blunt, what are your thoughts on next-gen mech and game industry, generally speaking? Game industry's in peril, sure. But it doesn't mean we're strapped for time. Next-gen mech is our sole priority. Next-gen mech's appearance was a big surprise for me. Where did something with so much power come from anyway? The boss, probably. I don't know what it'll do. But fortunately for us, it seems to have inherited Neptune's randomness. Yay? Meaning, we might be able to talk it down instead of defeating it before it goes hog wild. But with all the quests we need to take care of, we might all be too tired to face it. It'll be tough. 
You think that even us CPUs will have difficulties in the battle to come? Yes, Uni actually came to talk to me about some of her concerns. She's pushing herself to do as much as her sister, but I hope she won't go overboard. She probably will. Neptune. Uh, well, it might sound rude, but I don't think she's even given the situation a single thought. Although, she is trying to act more like an older sister to set a better example for Nepgear. Those two will have no issues. I will assist Nepgear if need be. Unfortunately for me, though. And fortunately for them, I suppose. Neptune and Nepgear are very close. Blonde's doing what she can, too. Hopefully nothing too demanding, since she has twins to look after. If only the CPUs were more like me. More honest with their desires and full of love for their siblings. I'm not too worried about them. They're giving it all they got, so I think the results will speak for themselves. Perhaps. It would behoove me to do my best as well, then. Behoove? So you're gonna make your move? I can only expect better since you've been a gaming recluse this whole time. Oh, such kind flattery. Now then, let us play a game. Huh? But I thought you said you were going to do your best. Wait, were you referring to your gaming habits? Of course she was. That is the lean box way. Show one's might through sheer gaming prowess. I really don't think we'll feel your best efforts through a game. Typical vert. Now loading! What just happened? Right, let's uh -huh. begin the quests and maybe I can finally carry on my story about the highlighters. You got it. Um, planet tune only. Get gear mock two. Why yes. Hmm. Right. Let's get these two and let's go. This should be a cinch because we're over leveled for this. But can't be helped. Can't be helped. Right. So where was I in the story with the highlighters? I think I got up to the point where my friend had covered his hands in brown highlighter when we created the brown highlighter. So yeah, his hands were covered in brown. Just brown ink. It was like, yeah, you best go wash your hands because you just put a handprint on the wall that's brown. That sort of thing where it's like, yeah, this isn't good. This, this isn't good. Costume break. Right, so he went off to the bathroom and was like, right, I wash my hands and everything like that. And I just stood back where we were with the highlighter and that sort of thing. And he came back with his hands just out in front of him looking at his palms. And he just looked very confused. I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I, I wash my hands and, 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 and then he turned his palms around and all I saw was blue. His hands were blue. And he told me what had happened. It's basically when he washed his hands, all the other colors came out in sort of like a gray soup when he washed his hands. But blue stayed behind. It was very bizarre, there was like nothing, no blue came out, so he was washing his hands and it just became blue and more blue. And what was odd was the um, highlighter, it was started to leak out of the sides of it because we hadn't done it properly. And all we could notice was all the colours, all the items there, but I'll finish off my story first. Yeah, all the, all the colours that were in there were leaving sort of the brownish, greyish colour everywhere. But we noticed the blue was spreading out further than the rest of the colours. So it was sort of like a brownish grey. It was sort of like a halo effect around it of just blue. It was very, very weird. But anyway, let's get the item. Oh, clear. Didn't even use Nepgear. That. Godly. I don't mind being praised. I'll become even stronger. 46. Massively overleveled for that one. Didn't even use the new skills. Yay! The gear is almost complete. Neptune's and my dream is about to be realized. But... I, I don't think it's Neptune's dream, but okay. The world won't stop spinning. Spinny, spinny, whirly, whirly. Oh. Turny, turny. Girl. For you to have them birds chirping all around your head. Uh oh, she's looking pretty sick. Big sister face on. Hey, Neptune, are you okay? Yes, thank you for asking. I just got a little dizzy. 
I don't like seeing you do that to yourself, buddy. With how game industry is, I need you in tip-top shape. That's exactly why I need to do even more to help you. Please try to understand. Right back at you, little Miss Glue. I don't want to become famous if it means you end up barfing and stuff. If I was making myself sick, you'd be all, what the goodness, and tell me the same thing, right? True, true. Neptune, you're right. I'm sorry. I'll hand over my dream of uniting game industry to you. I guess I've got to follow through and unite game industry. Sounds like a plot noir would cook up. All right, Aroni. It's time for me to put on my doting gloves and care for my little sister. I'll put some pudding in a pot and hold it over a fire or whatever. It'll help you get better quick. Pudding! Um, so you're going to feed me boiled pudding? I don't think that will get rid of my nausea. Yeah, true. That sort of makes me feel a bit sick just from the idea of how gloopy it would be and everything like that. Yeah, that wouldn't be good for you. Now loading. Right, next quest then. Wave yes. Runner Coast, Blan and Vert only. Why, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get them to again. This is going to be quite easy, it seems. I'll show you the power of Louise CPU. Oh, will you? We shall see, Blan. We shall see. I'll show you my power. I do like Blan's coat here. I like the color of it. It's a nice color of blue. I think it's co cobalt. I don't know. But yeah, more um, stories from the job. Or jobs, actually, thinking about it. I mean, one of the jobs I had, it was in retail, but I worked in the warehouse in the back sort of thing. And it was a store that sold, like, just electricals and stuff like that. And there was this wall of microwaves. It was literally that. We stacked up all the microwaves against a wall, so it was just a wall of microwaves. And one day we got, we got, you know, we get returns and stuff like that where something isn't quite up to what people expect it to be. So they return it, give them the money back, all that type of thing. So we did that. And, we, and what we got was um, a football had been returned, but it, it seemed fine. So I think it was something like it was had this weird smudge on it or something like that. Where like the ink had ran or something. But yeah, and that's a football football. Not an American football, a football football. So what we did was keep it and decide to use the um, microwave wall as a goal. And we used to play football against the microwave wall. It's a bit odd. So if for some reason you live in the UK and you're around my area, which I ain't saying what it is, obviously, because that'd be stupid. Yeah, uh, around my area, East Midlands, that's all you have to go on. And you got a microwave with a football print on the side of it. Might have been me that caused it. There. Wouldn't be on the side of the microwave though. That mean the microwave would be fine. I'm sure it'd be fine. If not, you could return it. You know. So. But the football was fine. I mean that worked fine. So I don't see what the problem was. I'm thinking, what else have I got? What have I got to do in this? I didn't. I can't remember what I've got to do. Um. Check the battle scene. There's someone that tells me what I've got to do, isn't there? No. Is it up? Huge doggo kiss must fall. Right. Okay. So basically kill everything till it appears. Got it. But yeah. Other stories from when I've been at work. There's one funny story where it's sort of like it was a couple of friends talking together. And one of my friends was talking about how there's this character in Borderlands 2. It's like Maya or Maya. And that was the point of the conversation. That we weren't sure how to say it. Is it Maya? Is it Maya? So I was asking like, how would you say it? I was talking to my girlfriend and how would you say it? And we were all like, why were you Why were you talking to your girlfriend about it? It's like, oh, well, we're just talking about names in general. And I was like, why were you talking about names? And he was like, no, no. And both me and my other friend were like, is she pregnant? And he's like, no, she is not pregnant. No. Don't even think that. That's not what it was about. We're just wondering what it, what the name was. It's like, hmm, sure. So what we did was, the second he left like the room we were in, I was like, just said to my friend, right, we need to go to the shop now. Like right now, we need to have a longer lunch. She's like, why? We need to buy a card right now, right now. 
So we went off to the shop and we found a congratulations card. We brought it back. We got everyone to sign it. We let people know it was a joke what we were doing. Put that on his desk while he was at lunch. This, this was all in the space of like 15 minutes. So from the point of him saying, no, she's not pregnant. We had gone and got a card and returned. Come on, I want to use the skill before it, before it all goes. Yeah, so in the space of 15 minutes, we got the card, got everyone to sign it that would sign it. And, and understand it was a joke and not spread any rumours about his girlfriend being pregnant because we didn't want that to happen. Because that would have been bad for him. Yeah, so it was just funny. When he came back from lunch, which was about five minutes after that, it was brilliant. He came back to his desk. Everyone was like, why, why have you got a card on your desk? What's going on? And he had to explain the whole situation about how... No, he had this conversation, his girlfriend isn't pregnant, etc, etc, and they were just like, hmm, bit suspicious, bit suspicious. There's all the weird stuff that's happened like that at work, though. It's like a couple of years ago, on Valentine's Day, it was very weird. It's like we wanted to just mess around with some guy there, just give him a Valentine's card, pretend it was us. It was like... We're not pretend it was us. We say it was. It actually was us. That's the thing. That that was a bit odd. But yeah, um, yeah. So we got him a card. Pretend it wasn't us. Is what I wanted to say. But the odd thing is, it's like, so it came to Valentine's Day, and we we weren't in. We weren't in. So this wasn't us. What happened, by the way? It's like a few days later after Valentine's Day, we found out that someone else had done the same thing. But from the looks of it. It was real. Like, fun and like, covered his desk in petals. There was roses everywhere. There was a bigger card. There was some chocolate. I'm trying to remember what he told us there was, because, like I said, we weren't in, so... We don't know what it was about. But instantly he blamed us. And it's like, no, it wasn't us. It wasn't us. We tr we did try and do it. Did you get our other card? He was like, oh, is that the card that was hidden under my desk? It was like, yeah, that's the one. So someone had hidden our card and done his desk up with new stuff for Valentine's Day. That was weird because that was funny because it had happened better than we planned it. It was very, very odd. Very odd. 43 and 41. Rank 3 for the Lily rank. Oh, what quests we got left? Oh, forgot there was a scene. The monsters are getting stronger. However, you lending a hand was quite the surprise. I thought you'd still be holed up playing games. I must ask that you refrain from giving me such an image. I go out often to arcades and butler cafes. Butler cafes? It is the journey, not the destination that matters, no? Perhaps Leanbox can have a few low game titles as thanks? That's not happening. Our fan bases are too different. Ask Noir for a few multi-platform titles instead. How unfortunate. I am curious, however, as to why you are going around and hunting monsters in such a secretive manner. I can't have Rom and Ram take part in these dangerous quests. They'd never listen, so this is my solution. If you ask me, I believe you are treating those two as much younger children than they actually are. Older children are still children. I have to protect them while they're growing and maturing. In that case, Someone should be protecting you while you grow and mature, Blonde. What a cute old child. Careful. Don't you dare tussle my hair like I'm a damn kid. Just because you're bigger doesn't mean I'm a child. Oh, you are walking right into this one. Your breasts are young too. Absent even. Just like a child's. Really, but I mean, that didn't even sound like a joke. That just sounded like a mean, like a really mean thing to say. Then perhaps our young CPU candidates are not to be treated as children anymore, either. It's a bad one, but fine. I see your point. I'll put more faith in them. I mean, yeah, she does have a point, but that was really mean. It's like usually she just does it in a teasing way, but that was just harsh. I didn't expect you to set me up like that when you don't have any little sisters of your own. Another incorrect assumption. I can do so precisely because I do not have my own little sister. 
scene hang again. Now loading. City Watch. Yes. Game news. It's got to be blonde, surely, yeah. Because I'm going to say we're done with it. <laughs> right, there we go. Now loading. Now loading. Hi, everyone. It's time for Famitsu News, where we discuss only the hottest news in game industry. In the news today, news flash, blonde's birthday suit. She bared it all for the sake of her nation. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I... I... Wait, you sounded oddly upset by that. <laughs> Some unwarranted comments have been circulating about these girls. Why was that funny? Such as, so hot, eternal lover, marry me, I knew too, and many others. I get it when kids say this stuff, but some of them are hard to stomach. We can't ignore this situation. There's no telling what people will do if it persists. Thus, Torn Duds has been sent over. We hope it'll be enough to placate you. The rumors did boost Blonde's popularity, so that's good for Louis, right? I guess. Until next time, this has been Famitsu News. See you around. Okay, okay, bye bye. Now loading. Now loading. Right. All right, what we got left yes. now? Rum and rum. What is this? Seek the yes. exit. I wonder if we can just fly through this one, like get to the end, or it's another now knock loading. down the barrier one. I don't think it's a barrier one, if I remember right. I, like I think I can just rush to the end. Awesome. That one looks mean. I can't see any barriers at all yes, yet. It's the we'll, we'll just try going on ahead and seeing. There may be, but I can't remember there being one. Do -do 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 -do. So many bosses. It's crazy. Hello, give me a hug. No, nope. alright. Unless the exit's over there. If the exit's through there, then... No, because that's a red barrier. It'll never get destroyed, will it? There we go. We're done. We're at the exit. Jobs are good. Yeah, there we go. I'll do my best next Didn't time even too. need to kill anything. Zero! Still got some XP from that. Five! I spy with my little eye. Mon. Is she on a quest? That's that's not how you that's that's not how you play I spy! She's doing stuff in secret! And that means she's being uh pitches. I bet those writers are here too. Very suspicious. Oh, I can't see from here. Come on, let's sneak closer. This one isn't bad, but this one is too dangerous. So I'll take care of it myself. Although Rom and Ram have grown pretty strong. Maybe they can handle it just fine. She's talking about us. Huh? Yeah, but why? I think... She's doing all the scary quests, so we don't have to. What? So she's been busy because of us or something? Uh-huh. Game industry has lots of monsters right now, so it's been keeping her busy. It's so dumb that she thinks it's okay to be busy for a reason like that. I'm gonna go yell at her. Yeah. Hey, Blonde, you big dummy. What are you doing here? Ram, Rom. I could ask you the same thing. We wanted to help. You looked so busy. Why are you doing quests in secret? You could have rubbed it in our faces or something. Are you busy? Because of us? No, this isn't because of you at all. I'm doing this for you. One of my greatest joys in life is seeing you two accomplish wonderful things. That's why I'm getting rid of the quests that don't match your skill sets. Thank you, Blonde. Sorry, I guess. I thought you didn't want to play with us anymore, so you were staying busy as your excuse. No. No reason to apologize. I'm doing this of my own accord. But Blonde, you're wrong about one thing. We want to hang out with you more, even if it's scary. I want to play with you, Blonde. Huh, I see. All right, maybe the time has come. You're both strong enough already. I don't need to do this anymore. Heck yeah! 
We're so strong, we can beat any quest in the world. Leave everything to us, okay? I'm strong, too. I have Ram and Blonde with me. Come on, let's go home. We're long overdue for a good session of playing and reading. Yay! Yay! Playing with Blonde rocks my socks! Hurry, hurry! I have a stack of picture books taller than me for you to read to me, Blonde. That's good. It ended nicely. Now loading. All right, what we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, we don't yeah. want to do these yet because these are the ones that will give us the skills, I believe. At least I think they will. I don't know. Right, so let's go do Reef Toyonde Cave, yeah. last station only. Yeah. <laughs> let's move. Let's move. Now loading. Okay, so that's right, let's go. Quest? Huge doggo kiss must fall. Right, it's just the same as the other one. It's just kill loads of things until something appears. Got it. I've been listening to a new podcast recently, though. It was recommended by Jim Sterling on Twitter. It was like, you know what? He seems to enjoy it. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. So I thought, I've been enjoying it myself. So I thought, I, I recommend it. I've told loads of people about it. I've, loads of people have been listening to it. It's called The Parapod. Has Ray Ke Ray Peacock, Ray Peacock, and Barry Dodds on it. Two British comedians, and they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. It's basically what it is. It's a paranormal podcast. They've got season one is all about ghosts and that sort of thing. Then you got season two. Um, let's switch over to uni. Season two that's currently going on now is all about mysteries like Loch Ness and stuff like that. And it's just brilliant because you got Barry Dodds believes 100% in ghosts and mysteries and all this type of stuff. And like always tries to bring an interesting point of topic to the podcast. And then you've got Ray Peacock, complete skeptic. Absolutely 100% skeptic. And he's basically just destroyed him in every single podcast. Every single. Barry hasn't won. A single one. Like, one of the latest ones was the Mary Celeste. And about the ship that had disappeared, which was the Mary Celeste. And Barry was just going on about how it was um, a booze cruise. And it's like, he expected... Because there was ten people on board the Mary Celeste, and there were nine barrels of alcohol missing. But we're talking alcohol in the terms of methanol. Is it methanol? Me methanol? Whatever, I don't remember how to say it. Anyway, ethanol is definitely one of them. They were carrying that. And he was like, yeah, it, every one of them drank a barrel. It's like, a barrel? A barrel of that stuff? You, you take a sip, you're dead. No, they didn't drink a barrel. But, but he's still convinced that they drank a barrel of it. But, no. So, But I do recommend that. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to their website. If I forget to put it in the description, someone remind me, please. I normally forget this stuff when I finally put the videos on YouTube, so please do let me know. But I do recommend it. Give it a chance. It's really funny. Very funny. All done. Oh, I haven't used any of the new skills. I'm too busy talking. Very weird. As if it'd end any other way. Level up. Level up. And that's the end of that. Yeah. Watch out! Oh, damn it! H hang in there, Noir. Ow! Oh my god, is Noir dying? I'm sorry, it's my fault you're dying. You were always so strict, but so kind to me. I won't forget that. Oh, rest in peace, Noir. Stop trying to kill me off, Uni. This hurts less than rubbing alcohol on a paper cut. But you shielded me from an attack! How could you do such a reckless thing all for me? Uni, stop! It's not even bleeding! R.I.P. in peace. But Noir, if you die, I'll... Uni, holy crap! Look at me! I am the complete opposite of hurt! So, what, you're healing others? You have your healing powers now? Because that would be the opposite, wouldn't it? No, no. Don't lie to me, Noir. You don't want me to live with the guilt of killing you. Your last gift. Shut up! Ugh. Uni, I'm about to get really pissed! You already are. 
Wait! Noir, you came back from the rain slick precipice of death! Thank goodness! Rain slick precipice. Pres I can't even say it, of death! Did you seriously think I was dying because I wasn't acting like a bitch? Uh, yeah. I mean, I was the direct cause of you getting injured, so. Anyway, I'm sorry. Forget it. Sorry to have worried you. I was too focused on making myself stand out for the article. I swear that won't ever happen again. Enough already. It wasn't a big deal. And even if it was, I'm your older sister. So really, forget about it. Come on. There's no reason for us to stick around any longer. Let's head home. We'll never lose. We'll do all that we can for last station and game industry. Think you can keep up with me, Uni? I know I can. I'll follow you no matter what. And again, the scene hangs. Now loading. Right, what have we got in terms of quests left? Yes. I think it's just these in here. We've got a character set. I assume these note ones in the mission info are the ones that head off and get us the new skills. So let's finish this journalist only one. And then we'll probably end this part. Okay. So let's do that. <laughs> journalist only, 37 and 39. We, we should be fine with this. We should be fine. Now loading. They say small things can pack a punch, and that's what they'll get! Thinking about the podcast, though, and, and how I got to that Parapod podcast. Like I said, I got it through Jim Sterling. But I would absolutely recommend, if you don't listen to Jim Sterling, that you also listen to Jim Sterling. I say listen, I mean, he does have... He has two podcasts... He's got the um, gym position, and he's got, I can't remember, he's got a movie podcast. It, it goes, if you go onto SoundCloud, or something like that, you can easily find uh, him via searching for podquisition. And that's it, that's the one, podquisition. And the movie one is on the same feed, so you should be able to find that. Or you could just check out his website, The Gymquisition. But I would not recommend you just search Jimquisition. Because Jim I think it's Jimquisition.com is a porn website. Which is hilarious. And the Jimquisition is his website. It's just just brilliant. It's like there, there couldn't have been a better result from that really. What is a blue one? Hmm. Right, let's transform. And do bye bye rising because we haven't done anything like that yet. Later, later. Let's switch over, transform, and do eternal blaze. Whoa! That just destroyed them. Take this. I'm just gonna spam this. Right, they've all stopped. That's the end of the quest, then. All clear. All clear. Again, I'm going to put in the description a link to Jim Sterling. So let me know if I forget to put that there as well. Let me check the medals before we end this part, though. Ooh, Lily rank two. Let's move on. We've done a pretty thorough investigation of this area. Being a professional journalist is tough. Do we really need to go down into the trenches for our articles? Blasphemy! That is exactly what we as game industry journalists should be doing. Indeed. Okay, okay. We need proper context to understand how the CPUs work. And to do that, we gotta understand the world. It makes for a stronger article if we can write about current issues and how the CPUs handle them. So true. Just writing blindly about how great their accomplishments are makes us no different than smut mags. Well, no, it, it's a bit different. But honestly, some sexy pictures wouldn't be a bad thing. Maybe we can add it in as a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd agree, but I doubt we'd get the go-ahead for something like that. Depends on how we present it. No, how we frame the images. We just need a clever tagline and slap some banners over any parts that we didn't intend to take a picture of. It'll be fine. Sometimes you say really creepy things, Dengekiko. Indeed. If that didn't intend part is referring to what I think it is, I'd rather not 
across that bridge. It's a joke! Let's keep that as a backup plan in case this whole thing falls through, though. Uh, huh. If they beat next-gen mech, everything will be just fine. Let's hope for the best. 